Hey guys, as you can tell, the exoset is down right now because the head had to come off. The reason that happened is the valve clearances kept getting tighter and tighter to the point where I was losing compression. I kept having to adjust them every 500 to 1,000 miles and couldn't figure out why. So this is the head that came from Four Piston Racing. It's recently been resurfaced in all of the valve seats recut. And the reason for that is this Berea 6000 valve, all of these were pulling through the head. Every last one of the intake valves were pulling through the head. And you can tell it's got a little step there where it's mushrooming out. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the metallurgy of these, but they are not good. Every single one of them was pulling through the head, causing me to have to continually adjust the valves. And I couldn't figure out what was going on until just recently. The reason I figured it out, because this is happening to other people too. A major aftermarket parts supplier has had this happen to two of their heads, one modded, one stock, except for these valves. And then another guy on Facebook recently said the same thing about his. So Four Piston Racing does excellent porting jobs, as you can tell from the cylinder side and from the intake side, really good porting jobs. But for some reason, they're pushing these Ferreira 6000 valves, which are junk. So this is a new Supertech valve. This is a Ferreira exhaust valve. And uh, this is the uh, intake valve that was from Ferreira, sold to me by Four Piston Racing. So as you can tell, this is a magnet, not ferrous on the exhaust valve. The new intake valve from Supertech's not ferrous. But the Ferreira intake valves are, which tells you there's a difference in the metallurgy. I'm not a uh, engineer, so I don't know exactly what's going on with that, but I do know that the metal is too soft to be used. So just as a public service announcement, do not buy Ferreira 6000 valves unless you feel like taking the head off. It's costing me, in addition to several weeks downtime trying to figure out what the problem was, uh, over $1,000 in having the head reserviced. I did it uh, in a place here in Torrance, California called uh, Flowport. They did a great job cleaning up the, uh, the cylinders and uh, or the uh, chambers and uh, re-cutting the valves. And uh, of course, you got to get all the, uh, the seals and gaskets and everything to put this all back together. So Plus, you got to buy new valves. So yeah, it was uh, eleven to twelve hundred dollars that I'm spending on this job just for these uh, junky Faria six thousand valves. So anyway, buyer beware.